ist mit Parascha Parascha Nasso, Rügel Parascha Nasso, ich reite auf dem Matan Tora, auf dem Schubur, und ist der longest Parascha in Tora, und er hat 176, 176 Kim, und wir haben die Masiket Babatra, longest Masiket 176, und Tailing, Kupfutet, wir haben 176, wir gehen durch alle Leders, acht Mal, und das ist der Matan Tora, das Wort, das shows, dass auf dem Matan Tora, wie Tora Parin Rabbi, Tora becomes uh, greater and greater increases the Torah. That's why we have this parasha right after Matan Torah. Then Hashem Moshe Nemo, Hashem is going to Moshe, not so it is for the nation, we have him, we have Kabbish Potam. In other words, we have the children of Levi, Gershon, the Hot Mirari, by the Gajbar who planted the Hot first, even though that the Hot was a middle child, because his Abuja was more important. The Abuja was just come to the nation, from 30 years and up till 50 years, uh, 50 years, people that come to the religion to do the world of Kohen Moed. This is our definition of the but about to work and to carry. They should carry the curtains of the Mishkan and the tent and the cover, the cover of Tachash and the curtain of the entrance of the Kohen Moed and the curtains of the yard, courtyard and the curtains of the Petah in terms of the gate of the yard and Mishkot around the Mishkot and the ropes and all of the utensils of the Avodah that they, they, they it's made for them, the Avodah and the Shasir, Alpi Aharon, according to mouth of word of Aharon and children, Tikkun Avodah should be all of the Avodah and the Shoni for all of the time, all of the world, Katem, and you should uh, And you should appoint them over them the Mishmeret for the sickness of Sikol Masam or the Hindus of the Mishmeret. It will be Mishmarta and the responsibilities. The Tamar in the hand of Tamar Ben Aharakoy would be in charge of their Abuda. Who would be in charge of Tamar Ben Aharakoy? That's Abuda Ben Egeshoni. They will be finished in the heart, Egeshoni, not Ben Emirali. Their families are without the ones who should come there from 30 years and up to 50. And this is the responsibility of the carrying the Khulabadam to the world with Ohel Moed, the boards of the Mishkan, Ogrichal, and the bars, the Amudah, and the pillars and the, the sockets, the Amudah Khatzer, and the pillars of the courtyard surrounding Badnehe, and the sockets with the Tortam, and the pegs and ropes, the whole Kalev, all of the utensils, the Abdullah. And with the names you should appoint them. For the for the Benet Hat and Benegation, that's not say Ubshemot Tipadu, with the names Tipadu. For this one says names. Why do you say names? Because Benet Mirari, they carry things that's very heavy and the boards. And you would feel that, you know, this is not a Shibut. And that Torah says Beshemot. Because once you are dealing with Kedusha, everything has no Hashibut. Not just one day thing that something is khashu and the other one is not khashu. Mishkan, every piece of the Mishkan is khashu because it's the of Abad Shparku. Therefore, that's a very big lesson for us. That a lot of times, when we want to do something for Kedusha or for Bittakin, I say, oh, I want to do something with prestigious, with color. I don't want to do this. Like, no. When, when you want to do something for Abad Shparku, everything is important. When Nobach made the Teva, even one floor was for garbage. When the garbage of the table is not Hakadosh, it's Kadosh, it's Kedusha. A lot of times, Hakadosh Baruch Hu gives more reward for somebody who is mevaze, but disgraces himself, and that's about that. I want to see somebody full prestige, full cover. That's something. They were here, but in Mirari, that they are carrying the boards and things that sounds less chashu, who be shemotukat with the names. Give chashivu that you should understand chavu. It killed Mishma Nasan, the utensils of the sort of the carry. This is the Minari, the Adam Bermoy, and I told him that good, very 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 And the numbers to the family is Alpine.
there would be the hardware and five seven more 2000 2750 these are the numbers of the hati kol ha over the way moy whoever work in way asher to gad moshe va aron but al ki hashem al but the word of hashem yad moshe through moshe when they get shown the bishop of the time the number were 2630 2,630. These are the numbers of the Nigerian Abadar. And from 30 years and up, the numbers of the numbers of the Nigerian Abadar. These are the numbers of the Nigerian Abadar. All of the numbers, all of those contents, the leaders of the Nigerian all the numbers of the Nigerian Abadar. From 30 years at up for the number of the numbers were 8,500, 8,500 AD. Alpi Hashem and more than Hashem, Pagadotan, the first content, he shall be the total and so to put up a shit by Hashem and Moshe. Therefore, here you have the numbers of all of the names that they work. They were we could have added them together and find out the number, but Torah says the number because this number has to do something with the with the Lemala. You know, we have 8,500 Edim Malachim that they, are, they have the same job as Levi down here. Therefore, the numbers are very important here. That's why I should say. Now, Torah finished counting and everybody, now Torah says something very important. In other words, we were talking about having Shekhinah and having everybody around. And now a lot of times when we do that, it rubs off the majesty, the covenant and the honor. Then we say, oh, our heart has to be clean. Everything's okay. The tumor doesn't matter because, you know, Shekhinah is with us. Shekhinah is with us. Now, here we have to watch. By that, Moshe Moshe, Sabda is said, which the Buddha should send away from Mahane, from the camp. Kol Solwa. Whoever has Sara'at, the Kol Sol, and who has the Zom mission, the Kol Tamil, and the Kol Tamil. Now that I'm among you and with you, don't feel that you could know, know everything is okay. Everything is okay. No, the too much work is a hard. Male or female, you should send them out. You must have a hand with them. They will start on the should send them. We tell them they should not contaminate the camps and that I do it among them. By us, we can't do it. They will send out. You must have a hand with them. They will send out. They will send out. They will send out. They will send out. That Torah says that you should not feel uh, feel okay with whatever that happens. No, we're gonna go to what Hashem Moshe Lemor Davler said. They said the the Ten Ben Israel, Ten Ben Israel, Ish or Isha, Ish or Isha, a man or lady ki asum kagad adam. When they do a sin of adam, lim ol ma'ar. And they acting with treachery, the Hashem, the Ashma Nebishai, and becomes guilty. They confess their head, as also that they did, and they have to return back and they give the principle to the show to the one that they did. The Hamzan one fifty up to that, but not an Ashur Shamlo, and they should do to the one that was guilty against him. But in English, go ahead, Hashim, Hashem, Allah. And if there is no goal to turn them back, Hashem and Moshe and Hashem, like Kohen, what should be for Kohen? But what else to bring besides the ram of the Kohen atonement that he has to bring? Therefore, here Torah talks about if somebody steals and he did shivat shaker, then he has to confess and he has to bring the korban. And if he die, the Torah says that the money goes to Kohen. What mean? Everybody has the, every Jew has the ancestor. As the Yerusha, it's talking about the girl. If it's a girl and it dies and there is nobody to inherit, the money would go to the coin. Now, here we learn the Mitzvah of Bitul. With Mitzvah from here, we learn from the Mitzvah of Bitul. The Mitzvah of Bitul was said by Gezela. And from Gezela, we learn for all over that when a person does sin, he has to say Bitul. Now, Kiddush Yarim asked, why the Mitzvah of Bitul was said by Gezela? We have said by any other, because any other that the person does, Part of the procedure of Teshuvah is he has to say really, he has to confess. There were what's so special about Gisela that the confess was said by Gisela and from there we learn for all over. Could have said by any other. But the Shalim said, he says by Gisela, why? Because in reality, any, any Avera, any sin that the person does, he has to say we do it on Gisela. 
Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave you power, gave you energy, created you. And even at the time of Avera, Hashem gives you the power and energy. That power and energy that Hashem gives to a person is giving it to him that it should be open to Hashem, not to do Avera. If somebody is doing Avera with the power that I was going to give you, the power of speech, it is Rosh Hashem. Power of sight, he looks like something they shouldn't do. Power of the hand, he uses it in the wrong way, he's stealing from Akhar Shwarku. There is, there is a depth here that every Avera, you are stealing from Hashem because Akhar Shwarku didn't give you. Hashem is not your creation to do Avera. Once you do Avera, you are stealing from Hashem. That's why the mitzvah we do was said by Yesela because it applies to any other Avera also. We go to Roman, we are part of ten. Perek he part of ten. We go to Roman, we go to Jewish side. All of the states of Roman, Jewish side, Ashidati will appear. Look, 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 look. Appear should be for him. Be sure to show the Jew. And the person, the Jew, belongs to him. Now the coin cannot come and grab from him. He has the right to give to whoever that he wants. Ashidati will appear. Look, look. Whatever that gives to him should be for him. In other words, whatever that the person gives to him, look, look, should be for him. In other words, the Torah is giving there is a parasha of Torah that should be myself, you give it to Roma, and what do that you give to Roma as a, as a, as a token of understanding that really everything belongs to our Shabbat. But they give two percent to Kohani to appreciate and to be grateful to our Shabbat. Now we're going to go to parasha of Soto. And that parasha of Moshe Morashim said, that parasha of Moshe said, tell the slave of Martha, I didn't tell them, ish, ish, kiti se ishto. A man, when he says to when his wife shall go astray, why say ish ish two times ish? Rashi says two times ish because whenever that the lady goes astray, he's really is really betraying two men, one the husband one the wife. Because the covenant between them that she has to keep her, her covenant with the husband and with Hashem. Kitis says to this is Rashi Shote means a lot of tell us that. Then a person would not do that till the Ruach of Shetut comes in. Here the Yetzirah makes the person Shotet. He would lose his mind. The Rutiste comes from Shotet. Umar Abu Ma'an, and he goes against him with trickery. Peshach Abish Kotah, and another man stepped with her, Shikhvat Zera, in other words, lying of a seed. And it is hidden from the eyes of the husband, Ministera, and she was secluded. In other words, the husband. The husband is suspicious of her with somebody else and tells her in front of two Edim, he warns her that you should not seclude yourself with that man. And they go and get secluded with the, with the, with the Edim, but we don't know whether she became Tommy or not. The Edim bond, we don't have witness. Edim bond. If you have even one Ed that she became Tommy, they did had the relationship together, there's no mind so far. We ignore it, Pastor, and she wasn't seized. It's not invaded. She wasn't, wasn't invaded. She, in other words, uh, she wasn't seized. She sees she's not a sota. No. And passes over him the, uh, the spirit of jealousy of Eirat. Jealousy. And he warned his wife, in his marriage, with Amsame. Or a spirit of jealousy. And he warned his wife, he didn't come from. He doesn't know whether he became Tommy or not. Now, the fact that he doesn't know whether he became Tommy or not, now this lady that was secluded with the man that he told him not to be secluded with him, she becomes sota, she becomes also for her husband. You know, the halacha is that if a wife goes with another man, she is also for her husband. She cannot continue being with her husband once the lady goes with somebody else. Now, here, we don't know whether she went or not. She was secluded, but we don't know whether they had a relationship or not. If she had a relationship, she also. But anyway, Isha Sota that she was warned and she became secluded, she becomes also for the husband till she dreams and she stays alive. When he a man would bring his wife to the Kohen. Now the, the procedure is going to happen through Kohen. We're going to see in a minute why. Behavi Korbana and brings her Korban, Aliha, Asir Daipa, one sense of the Epa, Kemach Seorim. The flower from the barley. He doesn't bring usually the korban is grain, but here is barley. Why? Because barley is the food of animal. Since she did animalistic acts, the korban is presenting yourself to have a Once she did animalistic act, 
the Korban that she did from barley to represent the act that she did. Louis Al Shemer, you don't pour on that oil. Oil is a sign of elevation, a sign of light. She did something in darkness, she did animalistic. There's no oil. Louis Al and you wouldn't do Francis's because Francis also is a symbolic of smelling good and means that you should good state. But here she's not in a good state. She means has to know what Rasha says. Because the meal offering of jealousy, jealousy, who mean had the karon, the meal of offerings, the karon, remembrance, masquerade of all, reminder of the sin. Bailey, what are going to should bring her clothes, the middle, and shall stand in her, and he shall have her stand in front of Hashem, below the Hakon Yamai Rashim, and the coin would take the water of Kedushim, the Kilicheres, in the vessel of earth, earthenware. Why does he use earthenware? Now the Rashi says that he shot up by the new, by the Zenu, she made him drink in a nice cups and enticed him in the mice of Zenu. That's why we use the Kelicheres. This word, because it's the disgraced vessel of earthenware. And from and the earth, the earth actually the Therefore, what do we do? We take the, the dust we take the dust from the Mishkan and the water, and we write the Megillah of the curse, and we erase it in that. Now, before she say, because that denotes the Mishnah in all the Mishnah says, thank you, Mishnah, don't matter what you're doing. If you pay attention, three things you don't come with the Avera. What are the three things? Well, my in bottom, with the possible river, that's a water. Where would you go off of Rima Vetira? That's the offer of the Mishkan. And if they need a third in Rashwan, great will burn the boom, you are giving the Teshwan. That's a Kodesh Barfu. That's erasing the name of Hashem. We have made a coin in the Shah, and the coin makes stand the lady, the Kodesh Hashem, who paraid the Shah, and shall uncover her head. Now, it's very interesting that from here we learn out the Jewish lady has to cover her hair, and if she doesn't cover it, it's Rosa. Why do we uncover her hair? It's also she's a Shadish. Because Kedila Vazuda, we tell her, not search, no, no, we tell her that belongs to you. You lost your modesty. There will be uncover her hair. Covering her is a merit and zehut for Jewish ladies. Not everybody has a zehut and merit to cover her hair. This lady lost the zechut and merit privilege. Covering her means I'm kadosh. I belong to a segment of kedusha of imod. I follow the the way of sora, rivga, rachel, there. All of this imod that they were kadosh, they live a life, life of sanctified life. But you don't deserve that. We take away that from you. It's unbelievable lesson for us. Covering her, the modesty is the privilege for a Jewish lady, it's the follower of the Jewish lady. And it would take it away from a person. The person doesn't deserve it, which you don't deserve that. We take away from that from the person. And put on her hand, the mirror offering of the remembrance, the mirror offering of the jealousy. Jealousies, we had the hand of Aharon, the waters of that leader, that caused a curse. We should be out of our friend. Queen makes us swear, Baba Alisha, in the Shahadish. If a man didn't stay with you, we will not start it tomorrow. And you are not straight tomorrow with a man other than your husband, he knocking him, Mamari. You can be proven innocent from this water of Vide, Hamari, that causes curse. However, it is the act is not it. But if you have a straight path at the share, with the man other than your husband, the Hinnit made and he became defined, eight and Ishtar, and somebody gave Shikhato is sleeping, he's lying down, Nibal Adesh, other than your husband, the Shia Kohen Rajah, and the Kohen would make her swear, Vishwadala, with the oath of the cares, and Omar Kohen Rajah, the Ten Hashem would talk, Hashem would give you the Allah, cares, and Shivam would do Hamech, among the nation. Anybody, that wants to care. Somebody says that if it happened to you, like happened to the state, but it Hashem elech. Hashem would give it your head, your thigh, no fillet, collapse, and your stomach swell. Now, why, why the yere and stomach first? Because they are the silat avera. They enjoy from the avera first. 
the Ahoshwar would does everything measure by measure. The place that had the most pleasure from the Avira gets punished first. And they would come to swallow it causes curse. In your, in your inners, to cause the swelling of the stomach and lumping and to cause the claps of the Yarek tide. From Raisha, she would say, Amen, Amen. She would accept it. She would cut out the whole day. She would write all of this. In the scroll, and they raised the waters in, in, into, into the water of the river. Here, the name of Hashem is the day, praise. And here we are, that our Shalom wants to show how important this Shalom Bayi to create Shalom between them. Hashem blesses his name to show how important it is. By the way, it teaches us how to create Shalom. How do we create Shalom? Shalom is names or the essence of a person. If everybody wants to stick to himself and to be selfish and self centered and wants to protect his own right and doesn't want to move, then there's no Shalom. The only way the shalom could be if a student is ready to raise faces. Two selfish people, they cannot live together. It's impossible. A person is ready to raise himself, be humble, and not to be so selfish and self-centered, then it's possible to have shalom with them. Fish, and the lady, and, the, uh, and, and then he shall cause the woman to drink. They may have the water of the marim to be there, and the other ring that caused cares to bow and they would come the water and the other ring that caused cares them to bow uba hamayim hamarim the money and they, they, they come into her the water of that caused the cares the money for bitterness. Look at when I come with them they have a bar madam of shah the meal offering of no jealousies to him if I mean and you would wave the meal ha the meal offering of Hashem and brings it close to Mizbia. And the, the queen shall take a handful of the meal offering, as Karata, its remembrance, beat it and burn it, and then Yashka, then the lady would drink the water, and Ishra, and he would drink the water, and he shall, he shall cause her to drink the water, quite and it shall, shall be. If she shall, she, he had become, she had become defiled. But he was mad, and he had she betrayed the husband. Who bow what? It would then enter into her amoyim the water and the arim that caused the curse, the money for bitterness. The salt of it not and swell her stomach. The knock and claps her thigh. Boy, to Hashem Allah, and the lady would be the curse betterer among the among her nation. The im lo nit ma Hashem, and if the lady would not have defied to tell her he and she's pure. And she shall be proven innocent when it draws on her. And she should conceive seed. In other words, if she didn't have children, she would have children, she would get Baraka from this body. The body would not be bother of cares, but bother of Baraka. So, Torah, this procedure, these are the procedure of the Naot, of the jealousies, Ashatis Teisha, that a lady goes straight, actually, a woman, Haka Tisha, with a man other than her husband. And she became defiled. Or oh, a man that passes through him over him, through up the street of Kino jealousy, the Kine Tishto, and warn his wife to him with the and he and he causes his wife to stand in front of Hashem, goes to Allah, and the Kine Mudia to Allah, 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 to to Allah, to Allah, to Allah, to 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 when he says, says, if anything happens to this lady and she, she, she dies in such a tragic way, when he says, innocent is the husband alone from the scene, by Shahi, and the lady, what she did, she should bear her sin. So, this is the Parashat Soto, or not, we are saying, Perik Wab. Now, it's interesting that Parashat Soto. If you go to the pasuk of Midbet Rashi, what's the significance of the parashiot? Where we are, when we call it another pereke, pereke is pasuk Midbet. If you look at pereke, pasuk Midbet. If you look at Rashi, pereke, pasuk Midbet. Now we want to know what's the significance. What what came before parashat Sota? Before parashat Sota, and all of the parashiot that I was going to put it together, there's a reason for it. Now, what do we have before Parashat Sota and after that Sota? If you look at 
راشی پرکه پاتوریوته راشی پرکه پاتوریوته از واتی کانکشن بیتیم پراشت هستو تا پراشت ها بیفور پراشت ها بیفور پراشت هستو تا تو هستو 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 راسته در در پرزن هستو گیم کرو ما تو کوهن پرزن هستو بین کرو هستو کوهن اندر این تو راسته هست پراشت ها بیفور ما راشی سیز من کاتو به مالا می رایز نا بات ریتن به مالا نیست بیفور بیشه دوشتا بیدو یه تاکت باید کوهن کوهن تو ما بینید تو کوهن راشی سیز what's the connection of Bringing through my Kohen and Sota, as she says, as Zor said, I come at him at another point. I hear how she started love with so, love with it as a dog. If a person holds back the gift of the Kohen and doesn't bring to Kohen, so I say that you don't bring your Matana to Kohen, I hear, I promise you, I made it happen. She started love with so, the person has to come to the Kohen, love with it as a dog. He has to bring to the Kohen to bring the Sota. It's why was this okay? Interesting. They were trying to say it's a measure by measure. You didn't bring Kiruma, you didn't come to Kohen, I was wondering who makes you to come to Kohen. No, you didn't bring Kiruma to show with, with the Baruch and blessing that you have to show gratitude to the Holy Spirit. I said, it makes you to bring your wife to Kohen. No, what's the connection? Good. Bringing and bringing. That has to be the point, is up and down over it. Over there, you didn't make a room of money, you bring your wife because she was Messiah. What's the connection? Now, how do you tell us? Very interesting. If you notice, Rosh doesn't say that it doesn't give. It says, Ma'akir Makrada Kohen. What does Ma'akir mean? Ma'akir means hold back. It doesn't mean it doesn't give, hold back. What does hold back mean? Here's the example that I could say imagine the pe- people are playing basketball and the ball goes up. And now there are three, three ways, three, three different people to get the ball. Somebody could get the ball and steal the ball. So he wants the ball and gets it. Somebody else is very gentle and very fair as he takes the ball and gives it back to them. So third one is somebody who gets the ball and plays with the ball. Imagine they are in the midst of the ball so excited and they are screaming, give us the ball, give us the ball, we want to continue playing. But he laughs and he plays with it. And he takes his time, and then finally he gives it to them. He holds back. Now, what's the purpose for it? What's the purpose? Why is he doing that? One who still the security wants money, very good. The other one gently gives it back their heads. Now, why is he playing with it and then he gives it back? Why? Why is he doing that? It's a power struggle. He wants to show his attention of power. He wants to show another servant to give all to you. I'm in charge. Whenever that I want, I give it to you. He wants to prove leadership. He wants to be powerful. He wants to show exercise his power. It's a power struggle. I'm thirsty for power. There was somebody like that. He doesn't want to submit. He wants to know that I'm in charge. You need me, I don't need you. It's the attitude of his life with everybody. Now here, Torah says there is somebody that doesn't accept the authority of the coin, authority of the coin, authority of the coin. He holds back the matana to say, what, you think that I need you, you need me? Huh. You have to understand, you have to come to me. I have to give it to you. I give it to you. Therefore, what type of person he is, is the type of person that doesn't submit himself to the highest authority which authority of the coin. Everybody is submitting, even King submitting himself to Hashem. But this person is so arrogant and so, so much into himself and selfish and self centered that he doesn't accept even the authority of Ushbaru. He keeps up the matana to say, I'm in charge, you are not in charge. No, somebody like that, what happened in that moment? You think people change view? Same view, same attitude, same. Thing that he had. If he doesn't submit himself and so controlling Kohani, and he has to come out to Kohani and say that you need me, I don't need you, has to show his power struggle. At home also does the same thing. Everything has to be under his control, has to be in charge of everything, has to be done everything. I was in a case of Shalom Bari, like the husband, what type of dress she has to wear? What type of attitude she should have? What type of talk she should have? What type of things she should have? Unbelievable. She's not in jail. 
I told him, what are you doing? Tell me about that. But what? She's done in jail. In other words, that's her, that's her in life. No, some people, they have problems. Some people, they have problems. They feel that they want the attention of power. They have a distribution of power. Is the home is the power struggle for them. So the harmonious home to do enjoy. And who is powerful? Who? What does it? Therefore, the Torah is telling us, I'm going to the southern life. If this person doesn't accept the authority of Abu Shwab, who doesn't accept any authority of his wife, he doesn't accept, doesn't give any room to his wife, he's going to squeeze his wife so much that the wife will ask her. The Torah is saying that if you don't give Matana to Kohen, then eventually you're going to come to him. Why? Because you created such a home that the home, your wife, the wife would go astray, and that is happening because of that. Now, the question is like this. The Torah is recognizing whose fault is that here? Who made this lady to go astray? Huh? Whose fault is that? The Torah is acknowledging it's the fault of the husband. The husband did wrong here. The husband caused the lady to become whatever that is because his attitude at home was not accepted. He did such a, such a terrible thing to have to wife. You know, he squeezed the wife, no room for the wife at home. Now the question is, if Torah is acknowledging us that the problem is with the husband, why is such a punishment goes to the lady? Therefore, the same token, Torah should continue that the husband should get punished. Because always you have to see what the problem is, root of the problem. Torah is, you know, without past looking Torah, I didn't know. I thought that the problem is with this lady. This lady is after loss, after pleasure, and that happens to her. But now Torah is telling me, no. The point is that this man, the husband, is not behaving properly and causing and enticing this lady to go whatever that she's going. Therefore, why there is so much emphasis on the punishment of the lady? Torah should magnify the punishment of the man to teach the man the lesson. Now, why Torah is magnifying the lady? Now, the question is, why this lady is doing that? Why she is, in other words, of the, everybody says that, what she said, that the lady is taking revenge from the husband. I was in a Rabbanu meeting, and once there were two psychologists and Rabbanu, and the psychologist was saying in the report of the cases that the lady went with the plumber. Lady went with the, with the truck driver. Why? A lot of times a girl goes off the boy and doesn't work out. All of a sudden you find that she finds a very low based person and goes to him. What? What's the psychology behind it? Because she's taking revenge. She wants to tell the man you are worse than this. The lower the person is, it satisfies the revenge much better and better. Because she wants to prove to him you are worse than this person. I accept this person, I don't accept you. She, she wants to make him burn, to understand, to humiliate that person that, that was, therefore, what is she doing? She's taking revenge. This parasha of Sota, everything in the parasha is parasha of Shalom Bay. It teaches us in this Sota about Shalom Bay. Now, why did Akadosh Baruch who gave such a great punishment to the lady? Because, teach us a very important lesson in life. The important lesson in life is that in a family relationship, there is no room for revenge. If you take revenge, you're going to destroy your house. You're going to destroy your home. You're going to destroy the children. You're going to destroy yourself. There is no room for taking revenge. A lot of times taking revenge starts with a small thing. You don't look up, I don't. You do this, I do this. Small, very small thing. And then it goes greater and greater and greater. They are ready to pay charge. But the start is a small thing. Torah says, lady, you take revenge. We give such a great punishment to you. We understand. See, Torah says, we acknowledge you have a problem. The husband is a problem. But what do you want to do? You have a problem. Come and discuss the problem. Find a solution for it. But don't take revenge. Because as soon as you take revenge, you're going to destroy your home, you're going to destroy everybody, and that is, that is a terrible thing to do. The Torah here is telling us the lesson of Shalom Bayi. Shalom Bayi is if there is a problem on the table, you bring the problem and solve it, 
but the, the, all of the time the revenge happens in a small measurement and goes further and further. I was involved in the getting report children, and I told the lady, you know, this man is doing shuba. Let's get back. That's report children. They said, listen, try it. You don't lose anything. That was her work. She says, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I have to take my revenge from this man. You don't know what this man did to me. I take it. Now she took revenge, but what happened? She collapsed. Children. This is a power of income. That's why Torah says, but become, don't take revenge because revenge destroys the person. You think that you are doing something harming the other person, you are harming yourself much more. People, they carry the package of revenge for 50 years, 40 years. They think that you know, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything to the other person, but they carry the poison in themselves because revenge creates poison and kills the cells of a person. It's this thick, now the regular soma. That we decay the essence of a person, the attitude of a person decays. Revenge is not good. That's why Torah says, "Don't come, don't come." And and here, here Torah says, "No." The parasha after that parasha of no. By that parasha, Moshe Rabbeinu the Chaver Rabbeinu say, "Torah say, you are Terek Ba Pasuvari." No matter what, he should be shot. A lady also will not say it. That's not only a man or lady. He yap in the door of the Hashem when she. When, when, when shall separate himself in Donedel, warming you warm, Nazir, Nazir, the Hase, the Hashem, the Hashem. No, therefore, Yakli means separation, separate himself, like Rashi says, Yakish, becomes separate itself. Now, if an Israel says Yakli comes from the Pele, Pele means wonder, wonder, strange. No, Ibn Ezra says he's doing something very strange because why? Because everybody follows up the Taibo and the desires that they have. This person finds out that these desires are taking wrong way and he wants to stop that. He's doing something Pele. Pele means strength. Now that he wants to sacrifice himself from the wine and from the aged wine, he has to stay away. Homes, the vinegar of the wine and the homes of the wine, he should not drink. They were told this as a chitin. The whole mishnah and avim, and all of the grapes have been soaked. Loish did not drink, but anavim and grape of lach fresh and dry should not eat. Raisins, kol yemen is rosy. Kol ashtei rosy. Whatever that's made from the grape and from yain, from the pips, from the zoid, from the skin should not eat. Should not should not eat. Kol yemen is rosy. All of them is rosy. Al raisin should not pass over his head. It should not get haircut. Should be sanctified. How gather pera? He grows long of the hair of his head because getting haircut, you are beautifying yourself. You are indulging yourself in the lamas in the table. You should not do. Call your may hezero lahashem all of the days of his staying away lahashem and never smell. Should not contaminate himself. I mean, are we very much? If his father or his mother died or his brother or sister, no, it's not me lahem. We should not be matter of them, but never to Nazar Gaurish. Unbelievable point. <laughs> can't believe it. He becomes more Kodesh than Kohen Gadol. You know the word, he becomes like a Kohen Gadol. Now the Midrash says, is the greater than Kohen Gadol. Because my Kohen Gadol says, Shemen, Nazar, Shemen, Mishra, Kodesh Allah. Nazar, the crown of the Shemen, oil of the atonement. But, but here, it says, Nezer Rukabar Rosh, the crown of God on him. What happened? How did he become Kohen Gadol? Because that's the reward of somebody who recognizes his Kaiba and he wants to improve himself. He wants to grow. Now, if somebody would have asked us, could he become Kohen Gadol nowadays? Have the Kedusha of Kohen Gadol to be Kohen Gadol for the Israel? Yes, Torah says yes. Person sees the Taiwan in himself, sees something wrong. And he makes the kidori. Now, Torah says what the kidori more, the princess. If you don't drink wine, that's him. You don't need to drink wine. The grape has to stay away. Right grape has to stay away. Vinegar has to stay away. That's the way to make it. In other words, the, the psychologist said, the Torah, the camera said, the gambler is he, going to do teshuva when he destroys his dice. As long as he has his dice someplace in the closet, still is the connection to gambling. If a person wants really to get rid of something, he has to get it up in total. As long as some resemblance of that is there, it's not true. It's not completely off of that. The Maria Torah says something you want to get, get from wine, anything that comes from the grave, you should stay away from it. 
کل یه مهنز رو بودش رو لحشم از خود رامون بیت آلا ایستان بایی درست همی پیت هفتیم تام سادنلی به تیم روشنی زوری کنم و میدونی که لحش روش 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 رام بود از این در بیکام ستامه نادو بود ایستان بایی درست همی کام ستامه ایستان بایی ای از توی ستیوی انسان بایی درست نادو ایستان بایی ستار یه باد در دی بیکام ستار دوش انسان بایی هفتیم باد یه دو تو گیت گیوپ یورو نورست You have accident on the way. Things happen. But you shouldn't give up. You should give up the show. You have to get the haircut, shave it. You have to be on the seventh day. You have to shave it. 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 به زیر عشم انشور شد ستین این سر بر عشم این رو به هیوی که بسید این شد رو داشتم که بسید این رو داشتم که بسید این رو داشتم که بسید این رو داشتم و این رو داشتم 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 این رو وان گیر کمپلیت خطا و این افراد همین افراد شامیم به سال مسود و بریس بس در مسود سولد، فاین فلاگر، خلوت، دوکس، آبدلدوت، میکس دید شمه، روده مسود انده بر دامسود مشوخیم ان سمیر دید شمه نو میخواتان ان میل آفرین در نسیه به ایر رکوین از رکوین لکرشم باز های تختات بوداتوری دانی و بخار دودورا و آی از سیز دید بخشنامی از دردامیم در سال مسود و نازی به تخواه مویت روشت نیز رو به لا که اخیر روشت سر روشت نیز رو و روشت نیز رو and he would take the hair of his hair روشتن الهایش بزنی از تخواه در سه بخش رو میگه very interesting in other words تو را says that shaves it at the end and the hair you could put it under the on the fire تخواه سه بخش for cooking سه بخش رو میگه no the hair that it kept for the kedusha becomes a fuel for the korban means that the hair is kadush موسیقی and on the side of the raising up but after that, after that, it's the Hanazir Yarim after that, it's the Hanazir Yarim so it says after that, it's the Hanazir why it's called it Nazir? it's not Nazir anymore but still it's called Nazir why? because you keep the Nazir with the Kedusha of the Sebra see this is for Nazir Ashi Yidro Roman Rashem and then Al Nisro besides Ashi Tassi Yadro you can do Ashi Yidro can say all of the other pledges that he has for Hashem and Nisro so that is Parash of Nazir The word parasha of sutta comes after parasha after parasha of sutta comes parasha of nazi. Now Rashi says what is semichut. Rashi is very helpful. You see parasha tells us all of the semichut of parasha. If you look at parasha of pe, Rashi says what is semichut of parasha of nazi. Why nazi comes after sutta? No matter how shukur or sutta be good, but somebody sees sutta with with what happens to her with all of the tragedies that happens there. Yes, that's not right. He has to be. He has to. He has to become careful from wine. Shum be within you. They were try saying that Sota became Sota because of wine. Once you see what happened to this lady with tragedic death that she has, you have to watch yourself from wine. Our gifters and Rocco in this Rashi asked a very important question. Our gifter asked, "Why say Rosh Sota be kilkula? What do you think? A person with this safeguard." When he sees that the lady has a good time with another man, they are partying and they have a good time, or when she sees the lady is, is dead, collapsed and death, death, which one the person is safe from? One would say, when she has a good time, she's going out with the man and doing these things, you need to get safeguard, don't drink wine. But Tura doesn't, as well, don't say like that. She says, there's a topic to pull up. When you see, that this tragedy happened to her, you have to make safeguard. This is a tragedy. The tragedy is a safeguard. You don't need to make safeguard. Right? Why this Yahid Chazal say be kilkula? No, Rabbi Gifta Zimbabwe says, the Zimbabwe says, says, there was a man who was addicted to wine. And he had three children. All of the children 
very high position in town. One of them is the best lawyer, one of the best doctor, one of them was the best businessman. And every night they would call them, come and pick up your father from one of the bars, very disgraced bar. And it was such a shameful thing for this family. The family said, okay, we can do something. The lawyer says, have a very good idea. We get the father, put him in the basement, and we keep him for six months that he should not have the smell of wine in his head. You know, he should, should not have disconnect himself from wine. And then after that, we take him to the bars and we show him, see, whenever that you drink, that happens to you. Stop. Say, okay, wonderful idea. They put him in the basement and he screams, he wants wine, and they drink the same thing. After six months, they took him to one of these bars, very really low bar, with the, with the disgraced sceneries. And they went there. Once they went there, it was, it, was, it was raining also. Somebody came out from the bar and it was so strong and it fell down and it was rolling on the, on the ground. And you know, in the mud and the drain, rolling and rolling. The children were very happy. They said, I was one who made such a beautiful scene that my father should give up. And I was always helping us. The father was amazed, look at the scene. After a while, the father ran to the person and told him, what did you drink that made you so drunk? Therefore, here is the story. In other words, the same scene, the children are seeing the father. Scene. The children see how ugly it is. Because they're not addicted. They see the ugliness of it. But the father sees how great it is. In, the, in other words, the contrast is very clear. The more he rolls on the floor in an ugly way and disgusting way, the children become disgusted and the father becomes happier. He feels that wow, vitality. It is vitality. Therefore, Torah says, Ra Sota Bikikuna. When you see Sota in a tragedy way, don't make fool out of yourself. Don't think that that is a safeguard for you. Because the person would tell himself that, you know, she got stuck, she got, she got hooked up, but I wouldn't. I dare, I dare. A student goes to the office, a principal, and shoots some people all over the news. What happens? Once you are all over the news, you're encouraging other students to do that. Now you say, oh, they got stuck. But no, he would say, okay, I do it in a smart way. I don't get stuck. Therefore, here, even though in the strategic way, but the person has to understand that the person, you said, how comes to a person and says that he did it, you could do it also. Therefore, a person should know that even the Kirkulan is, now after that, they have the cat Kahani. No, why the cat Kahani is after Nazir? Nazir, he, he, he safeguards himself from Taiwan desire. Once a person doesn't go after Taiwan, then it gets wrong. But that was a Muslim more, that was another more. Put the word of Minister, the word of Allah, tell them, the word of Hashem, Yishmi Lefa. Hashem should bless you and watch at you. Hashem should give you, Rashi says, and if you have money, but this money would not be kept, and they come robbers and they take the money, it's worse. The person would feel so bad if he wouldn't have had it much better. But Torah says, Hashem gives you the money and keeps it. Now, here we have the Brah of Ghani, if the Brah of Ghani has 15, 15 words. Every word and word we have by Mishkan also 15 articles that they gave to Mishkan. There were 15 articles that gave for the Mishkan or 15 words of the Jat Rani. Joy Hashem Hashem would illuminate his, his, his countenance to you, for you, Bechunekan, be gracious to you. He saw Hashem Panav, Hashem would turn his countenance to you. We have some Rechashon, I put Shalom for you. There were three Baracha Meshurash, there are three brachot, you know, the pursuit of the brachot here. And now the question is, why the Torah says, Yorech Hashem Yishmerecha, money first, and then Yoy Hashem Panav, money first, and then spiritually. And then more than that, we learn, we say every day in Dabani, that Dor Panecha, Atashan, Natata, Dor Panecha, you give us everything. All of the brachot, even monetary brachot, comes from Dor Panecha. First, we hear it says, Yorech Hashem Yishmerecha, then it says, Yorech Hashem Panav and if you have your Hashem Panav Lecha, you have everything. We don't need any Baruch Hashem Yishmi Lecha anymore. Now, the Farshim said, very interesting point in Bikat Karni. Why Bikat Karni starts in money? Because, see, people come to our Shabbat. Why do you come to Hashem? Everybody knows for the spirituality has to come to Hashem. What about for physicality? For his time also, for the things that he's doing. 
ناگهانی بار خودش دیوار قاشمش میگه که ای وای میسورس فور یور پرناسا یو کام تو می فور پرناسا دن جای راش این پرنا بده تا دن ام گوین تو هاف کانتیننس تو یو مای فیس از فور یو بات اف دی رول اف پرناسا از یور اون رول تو داون تاون داز ایت اند دن یو کام تو می فور یا ا پرنا دن داز ایت وور ای داز ایت وور یو نو دی برای خودش بار خودش اف یو میک می سورس فور یور پرناسا دن یا ا پرنا باس بات اف یو هاف یور اون your own rules and regulation for Parnassa, then you want. No, then the summer of Chemian, you put my name by my side, and I will hunt you again. No, the Gali said, we want the, we don't want the Khani to get Baraka, we want you to get Baraka. She said, I will give you Baraka. But the Khani are the, no, the world, once we have, no, what's the point? The point is that this, once you have a Khani as an elite, they practice Torah, they bring the Kedusha, that becomes Kedusha for all the Gali Israel. As well as in the Baraka is to have a elite in the community. Once we have that, these people, they bring out chef at Baraka for everybody, and they would be an example for everybody else. Now then we're going to go to the parasha of Ba'i Ba'yum Akarad Moshe, when Moshe finished the Arab Kamishan, Ba'i Shachato, and he anointed them, Ba'i Gadishato, and made the Holy Kudab, and Spiyah, the Kudab, the Kudab, and 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 the Because by Mishkan, they said everybody should bring, and then we're going to bring. No, nothing left for them. Now here, they are bringing Korban of Rabot Shparuchu, all of the Nesim, they bring Korban, they bring Korban of the Hashem, they bring Shesh Ekletzav, they bring six wagons of the, were covered, and it will come, Agala, wagon, two Nesim, Veshor Leichad, 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 Take from them all of this, uh, all of them. While I was traveling to the Mishkan, that they should carry with the wagons to travel to. I got Moshe to go to wagons from the Baka to the Mishkan. They should travel to the and two wagons are Baba Bar gave to Kershom to the Mishkan. They are Baba and four wagons and eight cow gave to the Mishkan because their Avodah was hard. They got them with the Gadi in the Avodah of Kodesh. They have to carry the shoulder. Because they were carrying this kedusha, they were able to see it from the Mishnah. We were able to do it. We were able to do it. We were able to see it from the Mishnah. We were able to see it from the Mishnah. Nasi Echad. Every Nasi should bring one day. We were able to do it from the Mishnah. We were able to do it. They were now with Chanukah and Mishnah, and they were able to do it. Now, at the end of the Baruch of Shalom, they say Shalom. Somebody who goes after Shalom, Midrash says, it's like Chanukah and Mishnah. It's like it's Mechanet Mishnah and brings the Korban. Now, if somebody asks, is it possible to bring korban nowadays? Yes. When you seek shalom and you are mevatev to make shalom, it's as if you made the mispeyak and they brought korban for us. And the Mahrur of Shalom Mishon, it's a korban, Nachshum Lamedav, Lemate Yehuda, it brought korban, the korban, Karat Kesef. Now, Karat Kesef, you know, the, the bowl of Kesef, the Gimatev is 1930, that was the life of Adam Arishon, Achat Shilushim, no, and Uh, one hundred thirty Mishkala. It was one hundred thirty when he he gave birth to the to the first to the child. Mr. Echad Kese, Mr. Echad Kese, born by Betuani. Shivim Shegel, seven Shegel, which is the oldest of seven nations. Melim Solid, filled up with Solid, the love of Shemin, completely uh, mixed with Shemin and Mecha. Kapa had a sort of one spoon. یاد هاش بار بود دیگه تورا اصلا زاب تن گولد اصلا دیپروت میل آگذر پر از اینسنس پر اخاد وان پر بن باقار عیل اخاد کیوس قبل شاتو لولا سیر اسم خال خطا سیر اسم خطا بر بزرگ خشنه با باشنای ایل خمشاد خمشاد بر خمشاد بر بر اول از همه دی برای سر کربان اول از این کربان رو دی نو بودی به دات هفن دی استوری آب گالسر رو شدیم تا رام آدمارش رو نو و انرژی دی بر داد خانو خدمت میسپی آخر خدمت میسپی آخر میان that every shevet and shevet leader bring the korban, and this korbanot are denotes the, the korbanot denotes the highlight of the Hadisari, what the Hadisari is standing for, and why the Torah repeats all of them, because that's the sense of Hanukkah. What Hanukkah that means, Hanukkah means, Hanukkah means, Hanukkah means, Lord of Kinu. Lord of Kinu is that you cannot make everybody generate. You have to bring out the speciality of each one. Each one is Chashu Pragos, for according to you. Reuben, you are fashu, even though the Qurban is the same, but it's different. Why is it different? Because the intention is different, the motivation is different. And that is the job of Khinuk. Khinuk means that even though the children do the same thing, then we have to appreciate and be grateful to each one of them accordingly, according to each one, whatever that is. 
که به طور عدیه این تراسه است خود آمده کربان در دیگه ان سمیده نا باید شد سمیده می نو باید کربان و زار باید شد تراسه است بکرد شما تراسه است تراسه است در 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 دبر الله و اتزن بران بران که خوره درشمان رو بران دود دیبین شنگی و درم بران دیبین و دبر الله و این سپوی تو دین دبر تاد ادین تو را تو سیز در دخوشبار و سپوی تو دین در پرپس آف میشکنن اولا در دبر بان و دیز در دخوشبار رو خود در شای خود در دخل اسرائیل و در دخل اسرائیل و در دخل اسرائیل بیرید اولا در شبات بیرید اولا در لیدرز تو بورد تگیده دبرین در کخوت When we see Shevet is bringing his kuba, you have to understand that he is lifting up some of the load that should be connected to the Torah. That's a perspective Torah gives to us. A lot of times you see somebody is growing in Torah and learning, you say, oh, I feel bad. Sometimes there is a jealousy. There is, but there is no room of jealousy. First, I have to understand, to have a Havadosh Baruch who is speaking with us means all of the Kohot will grow up. Just the opposite. They have to help each other to bring out the Kohot. Once we bring out the kohot all together, then 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 we then we gonna then we gonna then we gonna we gonna do we gonna the, once we bring all of the kohot together, then we gonna have the zechud of having a shvar who be with us. But if we are not bringing all of the kohot together, then we are not going to have.